In this video, we will be talking about the different types of atomic radii. Now, there is no direct method using which we can determine atomic radii for atoms, but the scientists have found a way. So, are you ready to explore? First, covalent radius. Now, as the name suggests, covalent radius has something to do with covalent bond. Half of the distance between the centers of nuclei of two atoms held together by covalent single bond is the covalent radius. Now the important term over here is the covalent single bond. For example, we know H2 molecule, right? In H2 molecule, the two hydrogen atoms are held together by covalent bond. So the radius that we will be finding for the hydrogen atom in this case will be called as the covalent radius of hydrogen atom. Now we are very clearly able to see in the diagram given in, the, in your screens that the internuclear distance in H2 molecule is 0.74 angstrom and hence the covalent radius of hydrogen atom will be 0.74 angstrom divided by 2 which is 0.37 angstrom. Also remember what is angstrom over here. 1 angstrom equals to 10 raised to the power minus 10 meters. Next, we will be talking about metallic radius. Again, as the name suggests, metallic radius has something to do with metal. Did you know that in metallic elements, a large number of the atoms are closely packed and are joined with each other by metallic bond? Half of the internuclear distance between two adjacent atoms in a metallic bond is the metallic radius. For example, in the diagram given in your screen, consider these two circles as two metal atoms. The distance between the nuclei of these two metal atoms that are next to each other is D. Then the metallic radius becomes correct, D by 2. Third, we will be talking about Van der Waals radius. Half of the distance between the nuclei of two atoms, similar adjacent atoms belonging to two neighboring molecules in the solid state is the Van der Waals radius. Let us understand this better with the help of a diagram. Now in the diagram given in front of you, you are given two covalent molecules next to each other. Now these two covalent molecules will ha themselves have their own covalent radius. Then when does Van der Waals radius come into play? You can also very clearly see a distance d given in the diagram. This distance d is the distance between the two similar atoms belonging to these two neighboring molecules in solid state. And hence, the Van der Waal radius becomes d by 2. Next, we will be talking about ionic radius. We all know what an ion is, right? It could be positive or negative. If an atom donates an electron, it becomes a positive ion. If an atom accepts an electron, it becomes a negative ion. So that was a quick recap and now let's come back to what is ionic radius. Ionic radius corresponds to the radius of ions in ionic crystals. Ionic radius is the distance from the nucleus of an ion up to which it has influence of its electron cloud. As you can see in the example given NaCl which is an ionic crystal, radius of cation Na plus is 95 picometer and radius of an ion Cl minus is 181 picometer. So, the four types of atomic radii that we study today are covalent radius, metallic radius, ionic radius and Van der Waals radius. Thanks for watching, like, share, subscribe and see you in the next video.